Hey everyone, this is Wayne Wallace and today I'd like to do a uh, little tutorial on this application called Monosnap. It's a really cool app. So let me show you uh, what it is and how I use it and uh, you may want to try it out for yourself. So there's um, here's the website right here, monosnap.com and you can download the application for various different uh, platforms. I'm on the Mac, so I downloaded the Mac version. And then once you install it, you'll have a little icon here at the top of your screen if you're on a Mac. Um, if not on Windows, you'll probably have it on your on your start menu or something like that. Maybe even on the desktop. So what you want to do when you get it installed is you want to activate it wherever you do that from. Uh, for me, it's up here on the top menu bar. And it's pretty simple. Uh, you can capture an area of an area of the screen. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to capture area, and I'm going to use the crosshairs here, and I'm going to put it right where I want to capture, and then I'm going to drag, and then I'm going to capture that image right there. And then what it does is it brings it up in this um, window. This is the application window for uh, Monosnap. Let's see how I can move it around here. There we go. So that's the application window. And then it's got these controls down here, which are also happen to be in the picture. And these controls allow you to mark up the image. So let's just say I want to use a different color because it's already red on this picture. I'm going to use blue. And then I can change the size of my, um, my pen. And then here I'm going to use the arrow key and I'm going to draw some arrows here and point in at this little dog. He's pretty cute. Okay, so uh, you can mark up things. Uh, here's a pencil. So let me switch. Oh, I got confused there. Here's the pencil and let's switch colors and oh, I keep on thinking that's my control panel. It's not. Uh, let's go down here and let's just say Wayne. Oh, and see everything's graphics uh, vector graphics once you put it in there so you can actually move stuff around which is kind of neat uh, so if I click on this and I want to move it I can just bring it over here okay and then over here I can do uh, I can do a blur let's just say I want to blur this dog Oop. let's undo that let's click down here and uh, let's just say I want to blur this dog's face because uh, we have some privacy issues. Oh, I keep on clicking on the wrong stuff here. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to blur it out. And let's just say I want to do it again. And I want to do it again. And I just want to make this dog totally unidentifiable. I can just keep on blurring it out. So if you want to mask someone's identity, you can do that. If you want to crop the image, you can come in here and uh, do a crop. So I can resize it like this. Let's say I want to make it a square. Just want to make it a little headshot for the dog here. And we'll come in here and resize that. I can also say make it square. And that will automatically just change the, <coughs> excuse me, the proportions for me. And there we go. So now I've cropped it. And then when I'm done with this, I can say upload or save. If I hit save, it's going to put it on my computer in um, whatever folder I tell it to go into. So let's put it on the desktop so you can see it pop up right over there. Okay. And now the application window is actually closed because I already saved it. So let me show you how you can open an existing image. Let's go over here and just open that up. Okay, and there's the image. Now let's say I want to upload this picture to the web so I can put it in an email or um, you know text it to someone or whatever. Um, this is a pretty handy application if you're doing um, interaction with someone online and you need to send them a screenshot. Uh, I do a lot of training and this is how I uh, show people how to do things. So I can say upload and it'll upload it to wherever I've defined that I want it uploaded. I actually have an Amazon S3 account, which I'll be covering in a minute. 
and that's where I upload my images to. So it automatically brings up a toolbar, I mean a uh, browser window here, and you can see that there's a JPEG uploaded, and um, I've already got a link to it. I just copy that, and let's say I want to uh, send it in an email, and I could paste it right in there. Okay. So that's a pretty cool, uh, handy trick there. So let's go ahead and um, close that. And I'll just close this window as well. And let's close that. Okay. So let me show you another feature that's pretty handy is you can also record video. So click on the application to activate it again. And now I can record video. So I'm recording this uh, video for you and I don't know what it's going to do here but let's try it out. I'm going to say record video and then what it does is it gives me some options here so I can select to turn on the webcam or not. Let's go ahead and try that and uh, we'll choose the webcam. Okay that's the webcam I want to turn on. Uh, I'm not going to turn on the mic because that may do some funky stuff with my sound and uh, let's not record the audio input and that's good okay so let's go ahead and click on that to close that and now this is my window here and it's going to record whatever I put in that window so what I like to do is I like to minimize the window that I'm working with and um, Let's go ahead and resize this so it fits in here first. And then we'll resize it from here. Okay, so if I want to do a demonstration and show how to do something on a website, then I can place the website within this window and I can hit record. And now I can show people like how to go to the download page for, uh, let's say, Chrome. So I click on that and it goes to the download page and I can do my tutorial. Okay, so that's how I would do that. I could go back to the home page. Okay, and when I'm done, I can hit uh, the record button again and it'll stop the recording. And then what's going to happen is it's going to bring up the window like it did before. And here I can choose to save it to my desktop or I can upload it and I can upload it to two places. I can upload it to YouTube and I can upload it to another storage facility. So in my case, that's gonna be the uh, Amazon S3, all right? So I'm gonna say upload, and then I'll go ahead and say upload over here as well. And let's just title it uh, Mono Snap Demo. And I'll just copy and paste that as my tag as well. I can choose to make it private or public right here from the application, which is pretty neat. Okay, so depending on how long this takes, I may cut this part out of the video and go right to it. But let's go ahead and let that finish. Just have to be patient. Okay, what you may also want to do is you may also want to save this first um, because if the application crashes or something like that, then you're going to lose your work. So you may want to save it first and then upload it. That probably wouldn't be a bad idea. So let's just see what's happening here. Don't uh, don't click on anything else. Just kind of wait until something happens because 
at first I didn't I wasn't sure if it was doing anything so I'd click on it and I click on it and then I get multiple uploads so just want to be patient and wait okay so it looks like something's happening in the background there so now we've got a window in the background here I'm gonna move this one over so we can see here we can see here that our video has been uploaded to Amazon S3 and it's already playing it's an mp4 file okay and let's head on over to YouTube and see if it also uploaded to YouTube Okay. let's go over here to the video manager yep there it is right there mono snap demo so that's pretty handy so the application that I'm actually using to record this demonstrate uh, this um, uh, tutorial is called ScreenFlow. Um, you have to purchase that application. So the nice thing about MonoSnap is that it's free and um, you can just start doing demonstrations and tutorials yourself right now and you don't have to pay a dime. So check that out. It's pretty handy. Uh, let me tell you about Amazon S3. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And I'm going to close that application as well because I don't really need it right now. Okay. So Amazon S3. What is Amazon S3? Amazon S3 is um, a service provided by Amazon. Uh, as you know, they have lots of uh, servers and server farms all over the world. And what they do is they allow you to use their servers and their storage facilities and take advantage of the infrastructure that they have in place. And it's pretty cost effective. Uh, it's actually free. The first 50 gigabytes is free. So why not try it out? So if you have an Amazon account, just go to Amazon. And actually what you want to do is you want to go to aws.amazon.com forward slash s3 and if you do that you may have to go through the sign up process which is pretty simple you just say create a free account as you can see here Amazon um, uh, AWS <coughs> AWS is what they call it Amazon web storage and you can create a free uh, oh five gigabyte sorry it wasn't 50 gigabyte uh, five gigabyte of storage and uh, so many requests so let's go I've already got an account so I'm gonna log into my account up here once you have your account set up you can go to your management console and if you start doing any type of video stuff I would highly recommend an Amazon s3 account um, it, it's always on it's fast it's going to be reliable so that's where you want your video <clears throat> sign in unless it's a YouTube video then of course you can upload it to YouTube as well but there are certain times when you don't want video on YouTube you want it to be in a controllable location of your own so with with this kind of stuff that I'm doing with mono snap I could probably just use it YouTube and be fine with it but I thought I would just show you this. Um, you can click on S3 storage right here. This, you can see all the services that Amazon has. They have all, all kinds of database and cloud storage services. Um, but what we're going to do is just click on S3 down here. And that will bring us into our S3 account. And you can see here I have some different folders. And the folder that MonoSnap uploads to is this one right here. 
Okay, and down here you can see some screencasts, MP4s. Okay, here's some JPEGs. So uh, you can see that I've, I've started using it, and it's a pretty handy. If I want to come in here and look at one of these things, I can come in here and click on this, and I can right-click and look at the properties. And then this tells me all about the properties of the uh, file. This is the actual file name here. So I can right-click and say open that in a new tab. So there's the analytics uh, screen capture I did the other day for something I was writing. Okay. If you want to look at one of those videos, I can right-click on this. And um, let's just try open. I think that'll work as well. Yep. So I can click on play. And here it just tells you, uh, shows you what it is. Okay. So pretty handy little application. The thing I like about it is it's quick and easy. I don't have to get out my recording program and record and then export and you know it just takes all the hassle right out of putting video on the web for quick and easy uh, access so as well as JPEGs so one of the tricky things um, is setting up the Amazon s3 so let me go in and give you some hints on how to do that because it took me a couple of tries to get it done Okay, I'm going to go up in here and look at preferences and go over here to account and there's different services that you can use. So like you can upload it to your Dropbox or your Evernote or your Box.com or these different uh, places. You can upload it to an FTP server if you want. Um, so what I chose is the top option here, which is Amazon S3. And once you set up your account, you're going to get what's called your access uh, key ID and then your secret key. And obviously this one's kept secret. It's all dotted out. And then this one's just kind of like a public access key. And then you're going to put it in a bucket. And basically bucket means like folder uh, in Amazon terms. So every bucket is unique on the Amazon S3 server. So you need to choose something that's going to be unique for you um, throughout the whole Amazon S3, whoever's using it. So uh, luckily nobody had taken Wayne Wallace uh, bucket yet. Um, so I, I got that one. And um, then this is your base URL, um, which you, you're basically you, you're going to get. Um, but that's pretty standard. Okay, and then you want to test your settings and make sure it all works. And then once it's all set up, you can just close that. Uh, let's see if there's any other options here that uh, I set. I don't think so. I think I left it all standard. Uh, you can send in feedback. Um, they have pretty good support. So I actually emailed support about setting up Amazon. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much as easy as it gets so definitely set up an Amazon S3 account download MonoSnap set it up for Amazon S3 and you will be good to go hope you enjoyed that tip and I'll see you on the next video make sure you subscribe below so you see all the future videos that I put out thank you